I've lost four centimeters of my waist. What the f Hello you guys, good morning. Welcome to episode six of this weight loss glow up, change my life kind of series. Hello. I can't believe I've been doing this for six weeks. Like it feels like just yesterday I started, but hello, it's Monday morning here in Sydney, another day in lockdown. I've woken up really motivated this week. Like I feel like I'm gonna have such a good week and I don't feel so flat like I did last week. Last week I still feel okay. I I only had Ty as my takeaway and I'd be curious to know how I went on the scale because I actually had my period and normally I don't lose weight on my period. Normally I stay the same so I wouldn't be surprised if I stayed at 85.2 but I feel like I'm starting to notice it just a little bit on my stomach. I just tiny tiny bit not enough where I could say I've like still lost weight because I feel like it takes a while for you to notice that you've lost weight and I'm not wearing the clothes that I would normally typically wear like jeans and stuff where I would feel like me losing weight I'm just wearing active wear and like pajamas because we're in lockdown let's get on the scale let's see how I went fuck 84.5 I don't think I've weighed that since the start of 2020 so you guys would have just saw my weigh in so I lost 0.700 grams last week. How good. Yay. I'm so happy with that. Considering I had my period, I'm happy with any loss really. So today brings the total of losing five kilos. So I've lost five kilos in five weeks. Yay. So now I've really got 10 kilos to lose of this weight loss journey. I'm a third through. Let's do it, baby. Like this is how energetic I needed to be the past two weeks. I've woken up in such a good mood and I'm ready to smash this week out. Also, if you didn't watch my vlog last week, at the end I mentioned that I want to spend the whole week calorie counting. That's what we're going to do this week, guys. See if what I'm eating is still good. I know what I'm doing now is definitely working, but I just want to change it up this week and see if it makes a difference. I'm actually feeling a lot better in my body. Like, I'm not feeling as bloated, which is really good. I really am just happy with my progress so far. Okay, I've just got a sports bra on and my tights and I'm going to put a t-shirt on. But I want to take all my measurements against my first week. I actually really haven't done this and I really think this will be good. Six weeks later, let's see. Five kilos. Let's do my measurements. <laughs> So my starting weight was 95.5. My neck was 36 centimeters. I don't know if I've lost anything from my neck. I definitely know some measurements. I'm not gonna notice a difference at all. That's 35. Like a centimeter is quite a bit. That's 100. What was my test before? 103, fuck yeah. I've actually lost a few centimeters. I'm already happy I've already lost a few centimeters. Like. Waist. I've lost four centimeters of my waist. What the fuck, guys? This is amazing. Four centimeters of my hip. So it's so hard to like measure the same spot every time. Obviously, like you try and go off it. 32 centimeters. So I've lost a centimeter off my arm. I thought I was 60, so I've lost a centimeter too. Yay! So I pretty much like lost a centimeter off everything. On my chest, I lost three centimeters. On my waist, I lost four centimeters. And on my hips, I lost four centimeters. So good. I'm so happy. Like this is what I needed Monday morning. This is the motivation I needed. I actually think it's a really good idea that I only do this like once a month because when I see the results, I get so excited because it's so big. Whereas if I'm doing this every week, it's probably like half a centimeter and I'm like, what? <laughs> so that's really good. I'm going to go put a top on. <laughs> get the day started. We're going to have a productive day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. I've got a top on. I'm ready to go. I might make my bed. I kind of half asked it. <laughs> might do now is I made this like dinner slash shopping list template. I might go through that with my mum. If you guys want to buy any of my templates, I might put them up on Etsy. Like someone's told me this before. Leave a comment down below. And if I do make a store, I'll leave it in the description box down below. But yeah, I'm super excited to have this this week. So I want to start off doing that. So I know what I'm having this week for dinner. <laughs> I 
just filled out my weekly dinners for the week. It's a little bit messy, but tonight we're gonna have like homemade chicken schnitzel with veggies. I haven't had that in so long. Tomorrow we're gonna have chicken soup for dinner. Wednesday, zucchini lasagna. Thursday, like these cauliflower chicken breasts that I have with the salad. Friday, fish and veggies. Saturday, lamb chops. Sunday, fish and veggies again. Hopefully that's what I end up eating. It might change a little bit, but that's what I've planned out for the week. And I've started writing my shopping list. I think this week I'm actually gonna go to Audi. I have not done an actual grocery shop for like six or seven weeks. We've been doing it online, but I thought, you know what? Why not just do it? I'll leave the house. I actually am getting my car repaired on Thursday, so maybe I'll do it Thursday so that I only leave the house once. It's now 10 o'clock. I'm gonna put this on the fridge. Let's put my plan on the fridge. I'm actually gonna have some oxy shred and I'm gonna go for like a fast walk by myself. My mum's busy with work, so she's not gonna do that. So that's all right. We'll get my steps up and I also wanna listen to a podcast. Like I need to get back into listening to podcasts. I, I honestly haven't really listened to like podcasts properly like consistency for well over a year. I've just been like randomly listening to like one episode every now and then. <laughs> All right, so I've just made my oxy shred. I'm just gonna get myself ready for my walk now, put some socks, some shoes on, and we're at the door soon. All right, shoes are on, got my AirPods, let's do it. I'm not gonna take water. Let's go. I feel so good. I just feel so good. We did 6K um, in 68 minutes. I burnt 572 calories. Yeah, I walked 6.13. I started my walk like so happy and now I'm just like tired and a bit exhausted. I need a bit of water, but I'm so happy with that. I've already closed my exercise ring. It's gonna be a good day, guys. It is gonna be a good day. Let's have some water. 207 cases today. It's 10 past 11 now. I'm a little bit hungry, so I might make my brunch or get it out. I'm just gonna have, I think I'm gonna have like avocado on toast with two poached eggs and a bit of chili flakes or something like that. That's what I think I'm gonna have, basic. I know, so yummy though. If you guys don't know, I've been really good with my vitamins this whole journey and I put all my vitamins in a case last night. Sorry about my shocking handwriting, but I feel like this might be a little bit easier because I just open it once and I take like two of everything basically but I normally have it with food so we're just gonna leave that there but it's like better than having all this clutter here I guess my mum hates it <laughs> hello guys it is now 11 30 I'm gonna start to kind of like have my apple cider vinegar so I make an apple cider vinegar and I have two like prunes every single morning it just helps me me and then I'm gonna make my breakfast eat that have my vitamins pretty much that will make my whole morning routine basically so let's all get ready for that. I stopped watching the press conference because I just feel like it's the same stuff all the time. No offense, but the journalists kind of ask the same question and I just, I watch it lightly every day, but I'm just not watching it religiously anymore. But I'm gonna start off with having two prunes. So TMI, but it just helps me, you know, de-bloat. Um, and then I have like apple cider vinegar. So this is just like an organic one that I got from Coles and I have two tablespoons of this every single morning. I guess I'm pretty lucky, like I don't hate the taste of it. Like I need a little bit of water after, but I'm pretty like reasonable with this sort of stuff. And I have all my vitamins now and then we're gonna cook for breakfast. Cause I've been so religious with like my vitamins. Like I feel like that's actually helped me so much with my energy wise. Like even taking vitamin D, I feel like it's gonna obviously help my immune system. There's so many studies that have said, build your immune system out, which is really good. Cause I don't want to get this virus, you know? To a daily fiber gummies. This is so TMI guys. And if you know me personally and you're a bit weird about this, maybe don't watch this next 10 seconds. And the type of person where I like go to the toilet like once or twice a week. So that's why I've been taking prunes, daily vitamins to try and regulate that more because that's not normal I feel like. Because I know that that's typically why I'm not losing weight so much too. I am always bloated, you know? Once I finish this, it's like a liter of water done. Okay, so for my bread, I'm gonna have these sourdough burger things, whatever you call them. 
and then I'm gonna smash them out on those. I'm so nervous to make poached eggs. I haven't made poached eggs in the longest time. Because we have a gas stove, I hate making them because I feel like I just fail. Look at her go, we're poaching eggs. Smashed avocado with two poached eggs and a bit of feta for breakfast. Are you having your bacon and egg muffin? That's so cute, Lucy, look. <laughs> we're having our own cooking show. I think they're ready. I'm not sure, but I think they're ready. And I've got my bread right there to whip them on, but I think they're ready. This one turned out a bit weird, didn't it? But let's go. Actually, they're really nice. Kim, you're not that bad of a person. Okay, they don't look as nice as what you get at a restaurant, like a cafe, but hey, they don't look too bad. No cafe style, but they look okay. I'm gonna put some feta on. I think I can have 25 grams of feta. That's what I've pre-counted. <laughs> okay, wow, 25 grams is quite a lot. Put some pepper on. I might even get some chili flakes. Who am I? So there we have it. There's my breakfast. I believe this was like 470 calories. I'll put it on the screen now, the screenshot. But that's my breakfast. Instead of a coffee, I'm switching it out to some cranberry juice. This is supposed to be really good at helping your pH level. Honestly, guys, I just finished my breakfast and that was so good. Oh, I love that so much. I feel so full now, though. So full. Just sipping on the rest of my cranberry juice. It's now 12 o'clock, so I'm going to quickly unstack the dishwasher and then just chill out for a bit. And then I will have my coffee with my lunch, I think, today. Let's unstack the dishwasher. Hi, Lucy. You can talk now. Just FaceTiming my friend while she's in Woolies, just helping out with weight loss things. Hi guys, I'm now back at my desk. I've already done my weekly plan, I did that last night, but what I want to do is start doing my bloody journal again, and I want to do my write it out daily reflection sort of journal. So I'm going to do that to start off with actually. I just need to get into it. I feel like I've done it a couple days and I just forget about it. But once I get back into it, hopefully it will help me. Today is the 2nd of August. I just had a blank. I did not know what the date was today. And today's Monday. You are my warm place. You are my man. I done my write it out reflection, but today's one was like a little bit different than what I've had. It was all about like kind of setting up the perfect life sort of thing. So right now I'm just gonna do a bit of computer stuff. I need to like finalize a brochure that I made for my mum. Yeah, I'm just really gonna like try and be productive today, but like not do a hell of a lot, like chill out. So I guess I'll chat to you guys later on in the day. Hi guys, it is 2.30 and for the whole time since I last spoke to you, I guess it was around 12, I've just been working on this brochure for my mum. I haven't even had lunch, I've done nothing else. So I'm a little bit hungry and I haven't even thought of anything to make for lunch. So I feel like I'm gonna let you guys down and have a basic meal of yogurt and fruit once again. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna have two of these with a slice of cheese and tomato. 44 calories, guys, how good. So these cross kits that I'm about to make, I just put it in my fitness pal, 132 calories for two. How amazing. I haven't had these for years, I'm so excited. I feel like it was a good idea to have a sweet and savory Now let's make my yogurt. So we know that my yogurt is about 200. I'll bring it up because I already put it on my fitness bell. There we go. I'm actually having such a big lunch. Look, love it. Anyway, that's what I'm having. I'm gonna have these first. Mmm, God, they're good. All right, so I'm gonna have lunch. 
And then I'm gonna go for my walk. I would have probably had my food at two, not like almost quarter to three now. And then I would have gone for my walk at three. It's lockdown life, isn't it guys? It is. I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys today. So let's like have a catch up with Kim while she eats her yogurt and muesli. Like why not guys? Anyway, so if you guys did watch my last weekly vlog, you would have known how I kind of like really struggled the last couple weeks. Like I feel like that was like the dip in my weight loss journey where I was just like over it. And I just didn't feel like I was motivated. Like I basically just wanted to see the results and I was ready to quit. And that's what normally happens with me. I get uh, like maybe four or five weeks in on my journey. I'm going good. And then I just get over it or I have like a binge episode sort of thing and I just eat really bad and then I just say I'll start the diet again on Monday and Monday never comes. Yeah, I've woken up really good today and I've said it to myself. I was like, I can choose to have a good week. So I'm going to choose to have a good week. Here we are. I feel like I've been productive. Definitely not certain things that I wanted to do. This is so bad, but today's been the first day where I haven't got back into bed after making it in the morning, if that makes sense. Normally, I'll go for my walk and then I'll come back in and then I'll just sit in my bed and go on my laptop. Sorry, my mum came in and started speaking to me. I think I was talking about how I've been so productive and I haven't like got out of bed and then gone back into bed because normally I do that. Like you guys have seen in my vlogs where I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to chill out for a bit and I get back into bed. And I'm so proud of myself for that too. Good things are happening this week. I also just think I did struggle last week a lot too because of everything that's happening, like lockdown got extended, there were all those protests, and I just think I just wasn't in a good state, basically. And I think when that happens, like you just have to allow yourself. And like, it's so funny because like last night I was like, mum, I'm so depressed. I just want to eat bad food. I'm just not wanting to have something healthy for dinner. Like then and then when I had that, I guess that other emotional eating thing where I wanted to eat emotional food. I'm so surprised that I like woke up today and I was like, sweet. And I think a lot of it had to do with like just letting myself be upset, just allowing myself to be upset and then know that when we hit Monday, I'm not like a different person, but i am just got a different positive attitude. I think that was a good thing. Yeah, I also felt really lonely last week. Like I, I felt all of the emotions that I had and it is normal, I guess. Like I'm on this journey to better myself. I'm definitely gonna feel lonely because I'm not out there like seeking validation from guys or like chatting to other people or going out and going clubbing and stuff like that. So like I had spoken to a few of my friends and they definitely felt the same. And I think it's got a lot to do with lockdown. And I feel like I'm not on like dating apps. I'm not seeing my friends. I'm not using that social outlet. So I guess it's given me a chance to feel all the emotions and I've kind of mourned those. I was just like, well, okay, this is what's happening. I'm just trying to obviously stay focused as possible. Like today has been one of my favorite days like in lockdown. I just think I love my mindset so much. Like right now I feel like I'm living my best life. Like right now I just feel so happy and it's just so crazy because I didn't have the best day yesterday. I didn't have the best fortnight and I'm just proud of myself for picking myself up and I just already know that I'm going to have a really good week. But yeah, I know that this weight loss journey is going to get lonely. I know that I'm going to have days where I just don't want to do much and I think the more that I feed into that the more that I want and I think that's why I had a whole fortnight of not doing anything. How's everyone going with their weight loss journey? How are you guys going mentally? Yeah I know lockdown's really hard for everyone and I'm so sorry everyone's going through it. Like I just I feel so privileged to be in such a good mindset and to think how I was last year like I am not surprised that people are really struggling because I went through that last year. Like last year I was a completely different person than I am right here right now. My mindset I was just crying for days and days on end and half the time I didn't even know why and half the time I couldn't pick myself up. To think that people are going through that now really breaks my heart because that was just such a terrible time in my life and I think we have to remember that like like life is a roller coaster. You're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, and it's not always gonna be as easy as we expect. You know, shitty things are gonna happen. Like, I feel like so much bad things have happened to me, and I'm just like, well, that happened for a reason, or I'm definitely 
going through that because it's going to teach me things. You just get over it. Like, I have so many of my friends that are just going through shitty things at the moment. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, how does all these bad things happen to good people? I feel like the best thing you can do is reach out and ask for help. But know that, you know, things will get better. And they always do. They always do. You always got to remember that it's temporary pain. You know, you'll have some shitty days in your life, but it's not a crap life. And that's just how it is, unfortunately. But if you guys ever, please, like, just message me on Instagram if you ever need to talk. I love talking to you guys. And I know that, like, sometimes when you're having shitty days, like, you just need someone to talk to or someone to just make you feel good or whatever you want to call it. So don't ever hesitate to, like, message me because fucking lockdown is a shit time like no one wants to be here everyone's sat at home with their emotions and i know that every single person's probably gone down the avenue of overthinking or um really a lot of self-doubt we're strong we can do this four weeks smashing this lockdown out will be good it does suck that a lot of people aren't staying home and people aren't taking it seriously i get that at least you know yourself that you're doing the right things and you won't get in trouble. I hope all these police find people that are like, like all these parties that people are having. I just hope they get caught. And they will. That's just how it works. That's how karma is. So we got to keep doing the right thing. And that's, that's the reward at the end of it. We'll be able to go out and socialize with our friends and family. Like I am so keen to get out of lockdown. And I'm so keen because I feel like I've really grown as a person. I've definitely evolved. I'm so proud at who I'm becoming. And it's crazy to think that this is like a new chapter in my life. This is me finding myself and I love myself more than I've ever loved myself my whole life, like right now. It's crazy to think that because I'm 27 and I've never felt that sort of love for myself. I'm so happy with who I'm becoming and I'm just so excited. Even though I'm not at the skinniest I've ever been, I've got a long way to go on my weight loss journey, but I am just falling so in love with myself and I love that. I just love that I'm giving myself all this respect and I know that good things will come and I definitely do believe in like you've got to love yourself before someone can love you like I definitely believe in that so we'll see what happens <laughs> I'm gonna finish the rest of my lunch I feel like I already chatted so much you guys well I have not driven my car in well over a month that slip I forgot sleep out I know Hey guys, welcome to Kim's car, which she has not driven in a month. Look at it, let's go. We are back, how eventful. Anyway, I'm gonna go for my afternoon walk now. Let's do it. Still really nice weather here. Hello guys, it is now 5.30. I just got back from my walk. We did about an hour and a half actually. So I walked six and a half kilometers. So it was kind of like the same kilometers that I walked this morning by myself. I walked with my mum. Today I've done 14 Ks. So I've been very active today. Um, I am just gonna chill out for a little bit before I have motivation to cook dinner. I'm so excited for chicken sitzel. <laughs> Meat meal, nothing but carbs. <laughs> God, that was such a yummy dinner. Like, oh, and I feel satisfied as hell. I still want to have my Magnum as dessert though, but I had a look at my calories and I've had 1500 calories today. Uh, that was my goal 1500 calories. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to treat myself. Why not? It is Monday and I've had a really good active day already. So I feel like I deserve it, even though I would mean that I'm over my calories, but that's okay. It's five to seven. I've already done all my jobs for the day or whatever you call them, my chores. I just took the bins out and it feels so good to know I've done quite a bit today, but I just feel productive. And I love the fact that I've never got back in my bed. Like right now I'm sitting on top of my bed, but normally after my walk, I come back in and I sit in my bed and I just freaking waste time, but I haven't really wasted time at all today, which is good. Feeling like myself. Yeah, I'm still really happy which is so good. But I'll chat to you guys later if I decide to have dessert. What do I do? I really want it, but I'm over my calories. This is why I feel like calorie counting won't be 100% for me. The thing is with calorie counting, some days you may hit your calories and other days you wouldn't. So I feel like if it's like a weekly total, it would be fine. 
But yeah, I still feel like what I was doing like was working for me, just like eating healthy foods. I just wanted to see if there was a difference. What the hell? It's 10 to 8. I have like 10 minutes to eat my ice cream basically. And because I saw the time before 8 o'clock, I'm like, it's a sign from the gods that I'm allowed to have the ice cream. So I'm having it. I'm having it. <laughs> Kim is happy. Kim is happy. I don't regret this decision. I don't even care. If I put on a little bit of weight today, I deserve it. Treating myself. Honestly, like for the past 20 minutes, I've just been listening to like old school songs. Well, not old school, but like songs that I used to go out in. Like clubbing songs. And I'm just like, fucking get me out of lockdown. I want to go clubbing. I want to go out. I don't care if I'm old. I just want to go out. I'm kind of just done. I am probably going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys did enjoy like kind of like a daily vlog. I don't know if I should like mix them up. Did you guys enjoy this vlog? Let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. But I am just so excited to just continue being on this journey guys. I'm just so fucking happy. I can tell you this with my whole heart that like life is getting better and life will always get better. Like I know that you could be going through a shitty time now or maybe in a month or two months ago you were going through a crap time. That was me two months ago actually. But it gets better. I am the light at the end of the tunnel. But here we are like a month and a half later i'm living my best life i am like the happiest i've ever been i can wholeheartedly say that so keep going guys i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i hope you take care and i'll see you bye